time to get out and play. Amsoil delivers the ultimate protection for your vehicles and equipment. Fast, free shipping right to your door. Spend $100 and shipping is on us. Order now at Amsoil.com. working on the bug a little bit here and uh, got a new handle here so this is the 66 style handle and uh, the no button or anything like that so the mechanism would originally work down there by just the cable and it would, we wouldn't have a safety or anything like that so if you just pop it and it would go up um, so I, I don't want to change out the valence yet because it looks the same outside um, so I went and got the original handle and uh, I'll end up getting the original trim to go back up through here uh, at some point in time. But uh, it uh, seems to be working well. Um, I, it doesn't lock down. It's actually like snapping in, in this edge a little bit, holding itself down. So it actually clicks in, but as, as heavy as this thing is, uh, the springs hold it up fine from right there, pretty much from about here down there's not much spring force holding it up so it would be very hard to get it up i'm sure wind could do it but it would be difficult um but anyways get this on there and i got some other ideas for for the hood hold downs uh and realized that uh the other day i could smell gas pretty bad so uh that that uh, gasket went out on me so i've got a brand new rubber gasket to go there, but I'm obviously gonna have to drive a little bit more and uh, get rid of some of the gas. So, but uh, that's it. It's, it's working pretty good. Besides that, so a couple of things addressed. Also picked up these uh, headlight gaskets. They're supposed to go in between this trim ring and the body. So get those thrown on there and little things here and there. All right, guys. All these gaskets. They've got this little like corner shape stuck off the side. And this is my best guess. That goes down in that little crack. And then this is a nice smooth surface. This is my best assumption. I'm sure somebody would tell me if I'm right or I'm wrong. I think it'll work. All right, got both of the gaskets on now and it seems kind of correct. Here's another little trick for you. These seat belts always drop down way down here and then you're you're trying to reach around you and find them and they're always down here stuck against the door because the door's right here. And it's, that's why it's nice to have them up where you can grab them and get to them. Well, these don't have the stop on them. So you can actually add the little stop and they're right here. You can get them off, off of eBay. You can get them at the parts store, I think. It's a little package in the help aisle and they're pretty simple. Um, so I picked up a couple of these and, uh, all you have to do is push a little hole through it. You can use a, an awl and stick through there, ice pick or something. I just used a pen and ended up breaking a brand new pen, but, uh, either way you got through there and then you just pop it on and then you want to make sure that your, <laughs> your buckle is above it. But there's my tip of my ink pen sticking through there. And like I said, you don't want to. You don't want to cut it or burn it or anything. You just want to push it through. Okay. So now I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to shove it directly through this way and pop this out and this in at the same time. So there we go. Push it all the way through. There's a little tip sticking out there. Just push it down around it. Make sure that's sticking out good. And then we'll just snap on the other side. And it really doesn't snap down all that much. They just kind of hold together with pressure, um, but I'm gonna use some pliers to press it together and it should be good. All right, there it is. Now, my seat belt's gonna hang out up here where I can actually get to it. Cause that's terrible having it way down there.
All right, guys, so the fuel uh, level here, it had two really long bolts in it, three short ones, which is very odd. Uh, but there's my gasket, and I'm gonna throw another one on there, and I'm wondering, the new gasket I got, that gasket right there looks pretty good. I'm wondering if this thing was leaking up through the holes, but we'll see. All right, guys, so on the front of the bug, got the new handle on there and the headlights and the grills and all that good stuff. And uh, since I don't want to change out the front apron, uh, I'm actually going to add these to it, which is just some handmade belts. And these are some that I got at the Moonshot Festival, actually. Um, and uh, make it work. Cut them up and add some little strips of leather belt to each side. All right, guys, there it is. Looks pretty cool. Old school leather straps on there. Went ahead and just did some carriage bolts and got them to sync up in the leather. And uh, they held themselves at that point. Put some lock nuts on the back. Uh, the kinds of the built-in. Right, guys don't forget you can get $25 off of ceramic coating the armor shield 9 from Avalon King uh, by putting high revs 25 in at checkout at avalonking.com mm -hmm.